Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time, lots of stuff happened. Uh, we followed Tor into the wellness center, found out he's possessed, uh, potentially by Cynthia Weaver, who's, uh, who's seen better days. We, f we uh, followed him outside, back behind the uh, Valhalla nursing home, where Rose is calling out to him, saying like, You get back here, otherwise you're in big trouble. Then we see Tor fall into the overlap. He's gone, vanished. And Rose is like, gosh darn it. I know it was Cynthia Weaver. So we profiled her in our minds, as Saga, as we do. And found out that she, that Rose, is actually kind of working with Alan. And needs a special passphrase in order for her to stop being a bitch. Which is... Wake has returned. Rose shouts with glee, gives you a note by Alan and her key fob that opens every room in the nursing home. So, we pretty much go everywhere and the power goes out. Now we are in the basement and power's on and I think Cynthia is onto us. So, that was a good recap, I think, right? It was, it was good. Don't judge me too harshly. Alright, come on. Let's go. Tor needs saving. I guess we're waiting. How, how are you guys doing? You doing okay? I'll be honest. I kind of been thinking about you guys a lot. You, you especially. You know who you are. Okay. Oh, Saka, what have you gotten yourself into now? Uh, is it just me, or has stuff not popped in yet? Look at these textures. That was like base shit. Oh, even in here. I need to piece this together on the case board. I, I do? I thought we did everything. Apparently not. Tor followed Cynthia because Cynthia was confusing him. Messing with his head. Oh no, um, this would go Cynthia and Tor. Why is Cynthia going to such trouble to get Tor out of the picture? Wow, we still got a bunch of stuff. Um, okay, game is like still loading, it looks like. Uh, the lunch boxes I've been finding were left by Rose for her use as well as the heroes. Um, this was the area. Rose Marigold left these lunchboxes for me. Alan Wake apparently told her to. I guess I owe her one. So, okay, here's one thing that doesn't make sense. And I actually noticed this while I was editing the previous episode. Rose gives us a note, like a manuscript page, I guess, um, to Rose to give to us once... Well, to the hero, when it's made evident to her who it is. It clearly has Saga's name on there. Like, how, how did she not know? You know what I mean? And don't tell me that she didn't read it. She fucking read it. She's, she's Wake's biggest fan. She reads everything he writes. So using the supplies to kill Taken for the Wake, yeah. Oh, whoops. The story. Later. All for later. Never now. Well, to the tree. Rose. Wake has been instructing her how to kill Taken. She believes she's been working for him. 
She believes she's been working for him. Oh, okay. So, Yako, Ilmo, Bloom, Mulligan, and Thornton. All cult members. Yako and Ilmo were cult leaders. So, Rose is not a cult member. As far as we know. Did something else unlock? Story. Yeah, this shit. Yeah, we can't do that now. Alrighty. This stuff has popped in now. Okay. All right, Cynthia. It was. Shit, shit, shit. Careful, Saga. It's interesting that we would use a fob down here. Let's go put this one away as well. Alright. I don't know about you, but my feet are soaking wet. Okay, things are not loading in properly. I do apologize about that. That guy's dead. So, am I still... Right, I'm still exploring the house because I still need to find the record. Is this the per is this about the person that drowned? The person that died? Oops. Are these people still outside? Yeah, they are. They're hiding in the light. They're okay. That reminds me of the song from Chicago. He had it coming. Nah, it's more of a drama. Thriller at most. Okay, someone's in one of these rooms. What is this? Why is there warped whatever here? Okay. Yes, we're going in this room. In Cynthia's room, no less. Before I open it, how many bullets I got in this thing? Um yeah, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna rifle it. I'm gonna pop some pills. That did not heal me as much as I thought it would. Okay, we're good. Yeah, those aren't scaring me. Gotta do more than jump scares to scare me. Okay. 
Okay, what is this? A power station. Oh yeah, from the oh, first game, everyone yes. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. How is a power station a hobby? A lantern. A lantern? Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the dark presence? She did. This is the well-lit room. I feel like I'm missing some context here. Well, if you played the first game, Saga, you'd know exactly what you're getting into. And that's Thomas Zane. Or... Someone that she was in love with. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Robert Jagger. Okay. Ooh. You know what life is like? For a very special woman. Tor's a romantic, huh? Tor? Why would you assume it's from Tor? Okay, Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. Oh, I guess that's the one that Alan uses in the dark place. Uh, it disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. Well, thank God it did, because otherwise we'd be fucked over as Alan. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. Uh, Tom is... Tom's probably not what you remember him as. Shadows are moving. This is no more light. There is no more light. No more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He's such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his, after all. Shadows are moving? Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. Shadows. It's just us. Tom and I. Forever. Aww. I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom. But it called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies. He was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment, supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it. I know it isn't. The Dark Presence uses people's memories. Their fears to corrupt them. Yeah. So that's interesting. Um, because in the first game, yeah, he was, he was a poet. But in the, in the Control DLC, he's like, no, I'm actually an auteur, I'm a filmmaker, and in one of my movies I was a poet. But Cynthia doesn't remember it that way. Adam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? Sure, why not? Why not? Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. All right, let's see. Oh, there's two. Being old, she'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close. To hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. The bathroom with her. In the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. 
She screamed. It came out of bubbles. Oh, damn. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things. Touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Um, who was I met again? I don't think I remember that person. Are you still in your room? Oh wait, that's not your room. Uh, Ati, are you still here? Are still here? Doing okay, bro? You know, with that hair, it kind of reminds me of, um... Oh, what the fuck was his name? The lead singer from, uh, Offspring. Just that hair reminds me of him. Uh, okay. Even with the fob, I can't get in there. So, okay, the museum was over here, right? No, down this way. So it's a rec room, old guards of Asgard, museum of fallen fame. Still here? No, you're not. Oh, it's missing. Angus remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Will she? Framed by the old gods of Asgard to memorialize the only pressing of the unreleased single, Anger's Remorse. So I gotta do some mentalism stuff. Huh? Oh God, Cynthia, you've looked bad. You've seen better days. Trash hotel rooms and ruined pools. Crowds go wild for the old gods of Asgard Ragnarok tour. The rock and roll group Old Guards of Asgard are leaving chaos in their wake as they plow through the major U.S. cities on their aptly named Ragnarok Tour. The band is breaking their sales records with singles topping the charts and had their latest sold-out concert in Long Beach, California. The fans showed their love for the reckless rockers by showering the stage with lacy unmentionables, black roses, and even full beer bottles. None of this phase the stars themselves, who embrace the admiration and transition from song to song with such gusto that the audience was left catching their breath, eager to keep up with the brothers Anderson and their cohorts. After hours, shenanigans for the musicians included a pool in a private residential neighborhood, left to be emptied and sanitized, and a hotel room nearly destroyed in a classical fashion, not to mention the lengthy room service bill gone unpaid. That's the worst. All things point to this band quickly becoming a strong contender to the iconic Hall of Fame uh, rock groups that came before them. Old Gods of Asgard party like their namesakes and give a performance like no other. Be sure to catch them on their tour and bear witness to rock history in the making. I wonder if that was written in their heyday or if this is like their new tour. Well, I guess the Ragnarok tour. 
I don't remember when that when they said that was. Like, is that Barry's tour or like when Barry was their uh, manager? Old Gods of Asgard, band member dead. The legendary heavy rock band Old Gods of Asgard mourns the loss of their divinely talented guitarist Bob Balder. Fat Bob, as he was affectionately and ironically called, died from complications of a severe illness, leaving his bandmates Odin and Tor Anderson behind. The peace-loving musician will be sorely missed, also by the fans' numerous fans. When asked about his loss, Tor Anderson had this to say, Get the expletive out of my face. Baldur's in Valhalla now. He fought cancer like a hero. Bob was too beautiful, soul for this world, added Odin. What this means for the band and their up upcoming album remains to be seen. Rock music is the ancient language of the soul. Muses, old gods of Asgard's leader. Uh, lead singer, sorry. I sit down with the Anderson brothers of old gods of Asgard fame in the lobby of a rundown hotel somewhere in downtown Detroit. Currently on their Ragnarok hit tour, the busy band members have only a moment to spare to a fledgling journalist and his questions before running off to the sound check for their concert tonight. How has the reception been? Amazing. The fans understand what we're, all, what we're about. They get rock and roll, they get the spirit, they know we're not here to fuck around. That's fucking right. Why do you do what you do? <laughs> I could tell you knew it, this buddy. Why does anyone do what they do? For the glory and the fame? For the money and the sex? Or because you have something inside you that is going to fucking burst out if you don't start using it? It's the latter. That's a good answer. How about music then? What is it about music that, compel that compels you? Sorry. Well, that should be pretty fucking obvious. This is boring me to death, bro. Let's get moving. Sorry, he's always impatient. As they stand up to leave for the tour bus waiting outside, the larger-than-life rockers turn around for one final quote. Music, especially rock and roll, is the ancient language of the soul, man. It's in me. It's godly. And it'll come out like a fucking thunderstorm. That's a cool quote. Alrighty. Let's profile the old bat. But we gotta do Odin too, apparently. Oh, Anger's Morris, right? Alright, let's do him first. Our shame becomes the pale horse. Bro, Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it, to ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Anga's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Okay. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on. Um, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to save. I'm going to quit out of the game and go back in. See you guys in a minute. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, it'll be better now. Alright. So... I don't know what is going on with my computer. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His part was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. See Thomas Zane first. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. 
taken. Where is Angus Remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A rock and roll tweets it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An arm of death. The record. I can get it out of her. Where is she? Angus Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. So it's in her bathroom. Yeah, that's what I thought. There it is. Right in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. Boy. So, wait, do we have anything here? Oh, of course, all for later. Anderson Brothers. All right. So, box of chocolates from Tor to Cynthia. Um, Cynthia and Tor. So it looks like Tor fell for Cynthia pretty hard, really. Tom had enemies plotting him, plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor. Anything for Tom. Cynthia's doing all this for Tom. Another one of the Dark Presence's masks. Uh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't really know much about Tom Zane. I don't remember if Alan mentioned anything uh, when he was being in interrogated. You know, an entry from Cynthia's journal. She was af she was afraid. Hmm. Hearing whispers. Cynthia's fears made her vulnerable. That's how she became a taken. Makes sense. Cynthia tried to drown the record in her bathtub. Cynthia had the record in her bathtub. Better still work. Yeah, I don't know uh, about vinyl. What happens when it come when it becomes wet? Cynthia seduced Tor to keep him away from me. Keep him away from who? Oh, to keep him away from Saga. Need to find out where Cynthia hid the record. The record from. Uh, record is music from the museum. Anger's remorse. It's there. That's done. A bathtub. Yep. A pond. A lake. There's a theme. An here. ocean. Cynthia wanted the record. Tor would have done anything she said. And that's done. Tor is not becoming a taken, but Cynthia is definitely corrupting him. Yeah. Trying to keep him away from me. Yeah, for what reason? I don't think it's ever been stated why. Okay, so actually, let me save. Alright guys, expect stuff to happen here. Got how to play the game for a minute. Angus Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. I apologize for all the jump scares, guys. It, it doesn't phase me. Before I go, I'm just going to make sure Tor is okay. Or not Tor, Odin. 
Okay, still doing okay. Someone's here. Oh, it's one of these fucks. A black. Whoa. Why am I not able to hit her? Guys, I know I keep apologizing. I'm so very sorry. I don't know what is going on with my game. Show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul. Of my face forever, seeking to be whole. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. So that's opening it up. I'm just gonna grab some of those first aid kits. Just so I have some more healing items. Um, and I guess I'll move these as well. So I have more. Red Falls record. The body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker. The local girl, Nora Hesberg, age 15, who went missing on Saturday of last week, was discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. 
cause of death has been determined to be drowning. The incident occurred during a gathering of local youths at the bunker. Nora was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning when they discovered their daughter had not returned home the night before. The police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. Police are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourns the loss of its young member. Gone too soon. Of course, inventory is full. Um. Yeah, whatever. If anything, I'll come back. Is that Logan? Fuck Be this place. Beware the drowned lady. Oh, where do we go? Oh god, are we going in a circle now? Am I going in circles? Yeah, we are. Something's gonna pop out at me. Fine, I'll go back. Okay, I need to do something in order to be able to get through there. Yeah, I want, I want a bigger gun. What kind of bunker is this? This is, uh... It's like a nuclear bunker kind of thing. How do they even find this? Oh yeah, totally made a difference. You could tell that, right? It's like so well lit up now. R.I.P. So I'm guessing this lit up a path down there or something. Oh, 
Oh, the the wall just disappeared. The light did that. Ah, same with Alan. So weird motor. This is closed now. Ah, uh, so at this point, Alan was in the hotel. Cynthia. I'm sorry. She's here. So I'm guessing Nora is the drowned lady? Dead end. Or is it? Uh, son of a bitch. Alright, get ready for some kind of jump scare, guys. So fucking turn around. Oh, I just came oh, back out. Back here again. Has to be here. to keep for the These rifle bullets are like they're needed. <laughs> Where are you? 
I don't really need a flare. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna keep Look at all these items that are just giving away, man. I'll take them. I wonder what's down this way. Let me check this first. Or I guess it's the same. It's just literally this area. to go in there anymore? Yeah, we do. I should have kind of expected that. Because we were due for some kind of jump scare. now when we turn on this light. Oh, we can't. Oh. Is there power now? No. Interesting. Okay. This is like, I don't want to say the least scary overlap. I mean, it's still pretty tense. But I don't know, There's, I think there was something about the forest that made it scary. Then again, this is, I mean, you'd be pretty scared too. Because like in the forest, at least there's like starlight and shit, right? If you're in a bunker like this, there is no light except your flashlight. Riding a again. Gotta go deeper. Oh, were we not deep enough? And no sign of uh, Tor or Cynthia. So far, anyway. I'm really expecting, like, a Taken to just come out of the fucking water at some point. I really am expecting that.
Music's starting to pick up. Here we go. Tor. Can you hear me? It's so dark. Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. The hag tricked me. Tor, I'm here. I'm coming. It's gonna be in the water. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga! It's so damn dark down here. I'm underwater! She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I deserve this. I gotta get out of the water. Dark water has to jump into her. This is it for me. I don't get what I'm supposed to do. I can't see a way out. I can't see any water. Oh, I see. Sinking into darkness. She got me good. Don't worry, Tor, we'll get you out. So how do I get there? Got one. Uh, move. So that's still not done.
So let's go this way this time. Do I need to go back to that one? I don't know if I'm supposed to go back on there. to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Uh. Can you maybe shine your light like up in front of you? game died. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Load more than like one bullet at a time, please.
Ah. No! Fuck. I almost had her. God damn it. God, fuck off. Hi there, guys. Very sorry for the interruption. Um, what's going to happen next is there's going to be a cutscene and a very short amount of gameplay where the, the audio is incredibly out of sync because it keeps on being choppy. Um, and I... For the life of me at the time, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I eventually did manage to fix the problem, but uh, I tried to fix the audio as best I could, just cutting in between the the choppy parts. It didn't un end up sounding good at all, and I just figured I'm just going to mute the whole, uh, the whole dialogue. At least visually, you can see the subtitles, um, and you can hear me talking, but I just cut out the sound just so there's no confusion. Um, I am very incredibly sorry about that. Um, it does persist just for the just for a first couple of minutes in the next video, which is when I figure out what the problem is. Um, Want to apologize again about that? Here's the rest of the video. That was really annoying.
Okay. The audio was super fucked up for me. I'm going to try my best to clean it in editing. But there was like a good like six, seven second delay for everything. I don't know what's going on. The game was working fine. And I don't know what's going on. This is why most of the time I prefer consoles over computers. Because you don't really have this kind of problems with, with consoles. They're optimized, right? Anyways, um, I'm going to call it here for this episode. Uh, I don't know how many times I can apologize, guys. I really am sorry. The one game I wanted to have like a, a, a amazing playthrough for. And the moments like this keep on fucking it up. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.